This is a post-commentary video. Um, because we should talk a little bit about Chalice Dungeons, I guess. Chalice in Wonderland. Indeed. Um, we hadn't really touched Chalice Dungeons at all, so I just kind of did this on my own, you know? Did you hack into the servers? Why did you delete all those Chalice Dungeons? I guess if you leave your Chalice Dungeon, like, alone long enough, yeah, see, like, it just gets rid of it, so... I'm not... I don't quite follow how exactly Chalice Dungeons still work, you know? So... I was, like, trying to play around, and I was like, okay, I guess we'll go to Layer 3, you know? Well, here they say, like, it's been deleted from the server. They don't have it, like, in Bloodborne lore language. Yeah, right? Like, oh, and the dream of the labyrinth has vanished <laughs> from our coil. The shared consciousness of the evil. Our collective Lord. experience is yet, is, has been forgotten. The ethereal sandwich we all eat from. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, layer 3 is obviously like one floor below where we went, you know? Uh-huh, that That's does make sense. sense. Right. Uh, I didn't realize too, but uh, and this is an edited video. But like this, this is also the last floor of a a, a particular chalice dungeon, you know. So there's a so, super duper boss at the end. I mean, there's a boss, you know. But this is the end of this Thumerian chalice dungeon. I guess is what I'm saying. So as as you get a reward. Kind of. <laughs> is you'll, it? You'll see what two pebbles. <laughs> You'll see what it is. I don't know um, if you remember Chalice Dungeons very much, you know? They had these kind of generic -y enemies in them. And yeah, the rooms were kind of samey. Yeah, we were sort of iffy on recording more of it. Yeah, um, not especially then, visually compelling. Right, but then I have to download an update for my PS4, so I guess we so decided to do this. we now. are. Here we are. Damn. Well, this one has cannons. Um, <laughs> Delete me from your server, will you? And fireballs. Jeez. Yeah, um... And red it, flesh guys. Yeah, this is quite the intense chalice dungeon, and while I was doing it, I was starting to rethink the whole idea of, like, not having you there for it, you know? Because I'm like, actually, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, things um, happen here, okay. Indeed, yep. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Just, uh... <laughs> Quick aside, I guess cannons, explosions don't hurt that bad. And then there's this awful thing. What is... So, I... This is an... This is what I, I decided to tweet a screenshot of it, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> I, I had forgotten something about Bloodborne. <laughs> While you're... You can't pause the game. You're right. So... Yeah, um, that is... I wish the is, PS4 it, share had everything that was happening in the background as well, like a GIF. I know! I know! <laughs> you know, um... Oh, I you're so even, dead by now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you... Well, uh, Let me remember then, my apostrophe. And then I... Then oh. it, that's when it like, kind of occurred to me, like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, load yeah, screen. I don't, I don't even remember what my caption was. I hope it was really funny and worth it. But. It's a good thing you cut away, though, because that encounter, that would have taken this game to an AO rating. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, that was an ugly thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Were there, like, it was kind of webs like, on its tail? It was, like, kind of centipede-y, but not quite, you know? So where does this fall under your fear of bugs scale? Pretty high. <laughs> um... Also, it shoots these giant explosive fireballs. I oh, did that not thing notice. Oh, that's firing it at you. Yeah, I think. Hmm. Yeah, they're pretty rough and tumble. So um, not only is a gross, icky bug, creepy crawly thing, but it can fire ordnance at you. Yeah, totally. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, this this whole chalice dungeon experience is going you okay, really, buddy? really badly. <laughs> And you notice too, though, but this is this Chalice Dungeon is a lot different than what we've seen in the past. It know? is, yeah. There's more variety um, here. Right, totally. There's like a nice little fountain area. It's almost like nice. Not um, the most well kept fountain, but it's a fountain. No. And if you notice too, killing the Bell Woman, uh, I don't know how that guy got my echoes, but um, it killed all those red glowy like zombie guys too. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, they'll spawn forever until you kill her. I thought yeah. something was up with her. Yeah, I remember seeing a red one teleport in front of you. Totally. Makes sense. Um, indeed. So, of this whole video, you're, this is probably the Chalice Dungeon you're going to see the most of, because it seemed kind of new and interesting. So, you know? the finales. Yeah, I'm... Ooh, oh, what hello. is this? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I heard really bad things about the Chalice Dungeons, and to be totally fair, they... They are pretty samey, but like you do notice there's like kind of cool things in them every now and again, you know? Those sorts of enemies is how I picture forum moderators. <laughs> it fits too far yeah. off, yeah. Patrolling um, the dark recesses of the internet for things that shouldn't be there. <laughs> I, I don't remember if you remember this exactly, but there's like the whole trick to a chalice dungeon layer is there's a lever you have to pull that's guarded by one of these guys, you know? Hmm. I always... I this is how I picture other forum moderators. Right, no. Yeah. This is totally the anime forum moderator. Yeah. No, um... <laughs> that's, a, that's a little cross-moderator humor. Take that, Zorak! Damn. Or whoever's doing it now. Cool. Um... So anyway, the trick is, yeah, like, you do this, you unlock the ro the final room of the Chalice Dungeon, you know? Or the boss room, I should say, you know? So that's what the big unlocked letterhead said? Like exactly letterhead. right, yeah. Header. Header. Kind of nice font. difference, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, but the thing is that actually the rest of the rooms in this dungeon were kind of what we've seen before, you know? Yeah, the sameness. Yeah, so basically uh, you're seeing, like, a... A best of chalice dungeon. Yeah, this thing is awful. Grossest of. Up. Totally. Yeah. If you get close to it, it like vomits at you. Which is, it, is, is at least bones? Tree branches? Oh, I never thought of that. Like a bone centipede kind of thing? Yeah. I don't know. It's. That maw thing was awful, though. If you ever need to comb the hair of a giant, just pick up this thing. Jeez, I know. Why would I ever? Need to... oh. Never mind. Um. Get out. Oh, okay. Ew, it's got a gaping dragon mouth. Right. And then it leaves behind its like top part <laughs> it has a little flower on it. I think I'll take whatever this is. It's One last idea. thing is all a lot of the drops you get in chalice dungeons are ingredients to open other chalice dungeons. That's like kind of what that arcane haze is, you know? Oh, what a freemium thing to do. Right? It's, I mean, there's no money that you can spend on it, as far as I know, so... Well... Anyway, let's take a look at boss number three. Uh, and I guess this would be the boss proper of Dumerian Labyrinth. So this boss was taken out of Fantasy Mad Libs name generator? <laughs> um... Yeah, I feel like he's maybe a, a bit of a rejected Dark Souls <laughs> yeah. guy. Bring the up the B bosses. Actually, this music's very God of War. But, uh, so you're seeing my first attempt at it, which is, um, which is funny. Now I get to watch and kind of get annoyed with myself at not being very aggressive and stuff, you know. So does, does this boss have a proximity damage property? How does that, how is that? Like when you're too close, you take gradual damage? Oh, no, 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 no. He does not. No. Not, not this watchdog of the old lords. Oh. But there is that little rush attack, you know. If you notice, there's like a weird telegraph to that bite move where he goes like, ah! like really yeah, fast. Yeah. Like he's almost shivering, kind of, you know? Yeah, he doesn't seem especially tricky. I personally would have thought the centipede thing would have made a better boss. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the intimidation factor of it. He still has um, extra moves that he like kind of uh, jumps in, you know what I mean? Like changes things up yeah. with. Now, what would make and this boss more interesting if it was Watch, underdog, uh, watch underscore Dog of the Old Lords? That's true. No, I can't. I can't disagree with you there. Don't don't watch Chip Cheese and Let's Plays though. <laughs> um, we always. Play it feels games. like a dog burning fire onto your body. <laughs> um, so yeah, watch Dog of the Old Lords. You can see now he's kind of gained a like sort of a new attack. I I feel like the bosses gain something every third of their life bar. I don't know if it's just challenge dungeon bosses or. Maybe a couple in particular, you know? But now he's got that, like, weird flamethrower-y kind of move. Yeah. That. You know what I mean? Are you over-leveled for this boss? Because that snap attack of his didn't hurt you too bad. I'm not sure, to be totally honest with you. Well, it's, that did some damage. It's totally possible. Um, 
I've heard like some of the later Chalice Dungeon stuff you have to be like New Game Plus kind of level for, you mm -hmm. know? So I don't know. I don't honestly know how far we can take this this grand experiment of ours. <laughs> but now this is it's funny. I guess maybe I didn't think I was over leveled or anything, but I maybe I felt Ooh. the way you did because do you remember an item called Red Lead Elixir? Uh, vaguely. That's remember how like I, at some point during this fight, I don't know why it's the stupidest thing. I decide, hey, why not use it here? This item, I have no fucking <laughs> clue what it'll do. Or well, anything. Let elixir. I would think it heals you somehow. You, yeah, and we'll turns see. you into Metal Mario. <laughs> um. Yeah, he is. He's feeling pretty easy, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's to say about him. Of course, if you were playing you know, this live, it would have been saying like, "Hey, you probably have fire-resistant gear, right?" Oh. Oh what? And if this Aww. were live now, I would have gotten up and left. Yeah, no, totally. Alright. <laughs> this um, dog needs some electroshock treatment. <laughs> Let's try that again now that we. I am gonna have put this idea. weapon around your neck, and if you go across this fence, you're gonna be bothered slightly. <laughs> well, I mean, to be, you know, to be fair though, he is doing a good job. We're not gonna see the old lords at this rate, you know. <laughs> What are the, the old lords that? doing wow. while this fight is going on? I think they're gasping at how I almost ate it on that that weird slam down. Oh, they're rooting for you? No, I, I don't think they're rooting. I think they're just surprised. Like, uh, I thought he was over leveled for this. Well, he was kicking our dog's ass. I know. Yeah. Why do you think he used bolt fight? paper on our fiery pet? <laughs> Why do you elementally think he speaking, that doesn't make much sense. Oh, and look, here's another attack. He can oh. vomit lava. Oh, he needs to get his shots. <laughs> that's that's not healthy. No. Um, the weird thing about uh, Watchdog of the Old Lords too is that he can be parried or stunned, you know, kind of similar to other yeah. bosses. But I couldn't really figure out the visceral attack on him in this fight, or before, which is why I just decided to say fuck it and just try to wail on him with the Can't sharp parry too. Him too well. Yeah, the easiest move to parry him with is that that move, that weird side bite thing he does a lot. Yeah. You know, it's a kind it's of a just long move though. When you know how to how to do it or when to do it's it, it's like one of those things you got to get the timing down where it's like just as he strikes kind of deal. You know? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's chalice dungeoning for you. Just a little learning new bosses and things like that. Are any of the for bosses the in the chalice dungeons retreads of bosses you've encountered prior? Do you know? Uh, as of now, no. Uh, nothing I've seen has been a retread. So you're not going to see Watol, using an acronym here, uh, sometime later in the game? Probably. No, no. I, so, or, I, I don't know, to be fair, to be honest. I've heard no, though. So I've heard, like, there's a lot. Okay, here's where I tried the Lead Elixir. Um, what did it you notice know, I'm a lot slower now? Yeah. Okay, basically, it takes away your kind of like knockdown property, you know, but that's you your defense. Don't... Yeah, it also, but it makes it, yeah, you, it makes you very, very slow, you know? Yeah. So, like, I'm not. Your stamina maybe is going up slower? Yeah. Like, if you saw I got hit, but I didn't, like, get knocked back or anything, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. So, it's a pretty interesting maneuver, I guess. It's pretty bad for this boss, in my opinion, yeah. since. Pretty you know. terrible idea overall. Yeah. yeah, no, really, really dumb idea. And then I very quickly stick to switch to stake driver before deciding. Nah, right, we'll forget that idea. Stick with old faithful here. Yeah. And it's salt like paper, the... you figured, nah. I don't know. I mean, we haven't recorded in a couple of weeks, so then this is going back a bit and trying to figure out what the fuck I did and why. Have you tried when he sprays fire on the floor, grabbing his head and rubbing his face in it? <laughs> Bad watchdog of the old lords. <laughs> um, if I remember, too, he did take a couple of attempts. This is, like, the winning one, I, I hope. <laughs> well, that would be embarrassing for him. Right. Well, I mean... <laughs> And then this is the point where I was like, oh, no, I'm like, don't get impatient and try to finish him off. That always kills you in, in these games. We're going to turn this into Watchdog of the Old Yeller. 
There we are. And we get, this is the prize, is we get the central through Meru Chalice. Yay. Which lets us unlock the central through Meru Labyrinth dungeon. Yay. So yeah, beating, so the way it works is there's three bosses in a Chalice dungeon. Um, the second one will give you the item to get the random version of the dungeon, which is the root chalice. Uh-huh. You know? And the third will give you the chalice to the next dungeon, which is this one, Central through Marian Labyrinth. So how many of these chalice dungeons are there? I don't know. Um, honestly. Well, you should. You I have know... 50 insight. That's true. Come on. <laughs> uh... You're not going to see so much of Central Thumerian uh, Chalice, obviously because the video is like half over. But that <laughs> because... enemy was a highlight. <laughs> no, I just kind of want to show you it is, It is in fact, very, very similar to You Thumerian thought that Labyrinth. was a slick kill, and you was like, Beatus is going to love that. <laughs> He's going to respect me after this. <laughs> I knew that was off the table. <laughs> this, uh, I think, did I actually even... I... Yeah, I skipped right to the boss oh, here because it was... It, it really is. Central through Marion Chalice, but Layer 1 was just exactly what we've seen in other Chalice times. Beast possessed know. soul? I do not like this boss. I just. I don't know. He doesn't feel particularly. He's more know. of a soul possessed beast, isn't he? You know, now that you mention it, yeah. The, the beast is all there on the exterior. I'm surprised he's not a blood possessed beast. Or starves. High five! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah! I rule! Yeah. Um, what a jerk. Yeah, they call me is. a top dog of the old lords. <laughs> Buddy. What? Yeah. Beast. Now I'm calling him Blood Possessed Beast. Um, yeah. Beast starved possessed He's soul beast. He's like a big hairy martial artist more than anything. <laughs> I mean, he's got like this five hit punch combo. He has like these uppercuts, you he's know. He's got some long ass arms. He does. He has like, he's fast and he has like kind of a High five. unforgiving reach. Yeah, he has that. Like some of his moves are really. Fist pump me, bro. Do you know what he reminds me of? Remember the were? you ever see the werewolf from Castlevania? Uh, which one? It's like, a, it's like the werewolf enemy that has like martial arts kind of moves. The more modern ones, like Symphony of the Night on, oh, Portrait of Ruin. I already played a tiny bit of Symphony of the Night. Yeah, Sorry. we should fix that. I should. Um, I, there's these like werewolf enemies for which for some reason like do like jump kicks and shit, which which is like the point where you're like, wow, Castlevania, you're losing me a little bit. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> But then again, I mean, Beast Possessed Soul is kind of like, he's got that weird, like, yes ma'am, kablam kind of punch and yeah. that deal. <laughs> that is one of those moves, too, that's, like, easy to parry, but, you know, not exactly. Oh, did you see that swing combo? He is Beast Possessed. <laughs> and then, oh, no, Oh, my God, and he's a magician, ball. too. <laughs> oh, no. I'm pretty sure I dodged that. Just looking back at it now, I'm like, that doesn't look like... Uh, you're, you're gonna have to let it go sooner or later. <laughs> that weird charge up like an uppercut bite move, which yeah. I don't really get, but... That hurts too. No, I mean, technically an uppercut bite's hitting your crotch first. Mm. Now, did you see that? His, like, mm. now his charged fist, like, explodes. <laughs> look, watch! Yeah. Like, what, what the fuck is that? I mean... That's the power of the Beast Fist. <laughs> I know. Oh. I wonder who and trained him. <laughs> Nothing up must I... leave! Ah. <laughs> Again, in case you didn't see it. <laughs> oh, I gotta I gotta keep him away till I heal. Oh <laughs> I'm sorry. I was beast gonna pull a rabbit soul. out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some good stuff out of him at least, you know? Yeah. That's Beast Possessed Soul for you. Alright. I'll miss him. Um, I will too. Hmm. I will too. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's Thumerian, that's central Thumerian Chalice Dungeon Layer 1 for and you. And now, 
layer two. So that was the you frosting. It, What's the next layer? That <laughs> Is that how this works? It's like a big cake? Yeah. More or less. Yeah. Well, um, thank you for the, sym the symmetrical fucking dungeon. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he's, oh. chewing. he's chewing on the floor. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh -huh. Look at this. He's now a rabies possessed soul. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. So, layer two. Now, maybe it's possible that layer two is a little different than, uh, you know, the previous Chalice Dungeons and such. Is yeah. it? Or are you doing a misdirect thing? Um, I am showing you that it is, in fact, exactly the same opening room. Oh. So no, you didn't quite edit out that embarrassing hit there. <laughs> I saw that well, poison that, procurement. After that really good one from before, yeah. you know. Right. I don't want to um, look too badass. Oh man, we got rid of the watchdog of the <laughs> old lords. Now the keeper. They have a keeper. So are you entering like a retirement home? I guess. And look at that 12k souls on the line. Oh my god, echoes. Echo. Right, sir. <laughs> Um, Keeper of the Old Lords, which I later read on a wiki, is a is a she, is a witch with okay. a sword. So and, who she's uh, who she cosplaying as? I don't know. Maybe that VD from Final Fantasy VII because she has the red eyes. Nine. You know? Now you may notice that she has kind of a weakness about her. Okay. Uh, very parry. I don't. Oh, yeah, you've noticed it. <laughs> I see. Like, is really? it that she attacks so frequently that if you fire a gun, your chance of connecting with Barry are very high? Well, here's my thing. This is my very first time fighting Keeper of the Old Lords. Oh. So I'm like, maybe I'll just keep going with this, you know? Yeah. Oh, but there's a phase two. Right. Now the sword's on fire. Oh, that's fire? This is... Yeah. <laughs> well. Um, <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I think there's no, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a, I think there's one attack of hers I don't get to parry. Um, Look after know. me is keepest of the old lords, much more powerful. Oh, see that time she tricked me because oh. I, I thought I wouldn't parry her. You anyway, only have but, five um, more shots. Can you? I know. Oh, wow, you can. So oh, that was a pretty easy, boss. Wow. Um, yeah. And we see you get the central through marrow root chalice. So if I would like to randomly generate uh, a root chalice or whatever, why would you want to? Uh, you can grind for stuff. Uh, Apparently, it's like an inter it's like a, a better way to get like blood vials and shit. Better than um, just going through central yarnum. I mean, I. From someone who's done that a lot, like, I will say, Central Yarnum, eventually you're like, okay, okay, you know, like. Well, that's when you put on an audiobook, like the Bloodborne <laughs> novelization, for instance. Excuse me. Um, not very true. If there was a novelization of this game, do you think they'd purposely make it very difficult to read? <laughs> and have the pages really sharp, cutting you all the time? Possibly. Oh. I, so I included this part of uh, Is there layer any, three because uh, giveaway before you go in that room that hey there's a trap in there. Actually, to be totally fair, I'm doing it from a different direction than when I first encountered it. Uh, like in the like in the editing, like you'll see the boulder roll by. It's like sense fortressy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you'll hear it and all that stuff. You have a kind of an idea. Where it is. I gotcha. You'll, You'll notice, too, I'm at 61 Insight, by the way, and uh, I was told 60 is the cap, like, things stop happening after How'd that. How'd you go from so... 50 to 60? Well, I, I found dungeon, uh, bosses in the Chalice Dungeons. Ten boss times? See five no, times, no, I guess? Five times, two? No, seeing a, like, seeing a boss gives you, like, two, and I think beating it gives you three or something like oh, that. I thought it was just one inch. No, 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 it's more than that. We can go back. If you look through the video, like, it was climbing up. Oh, I'm gonna um, look. So here's a here's a neat room. It's like a treasure room. That's you know? a different you sort of treasure chest. Yeah, and there's like a weird like ooh alien in the upper right thing. Sweet there. a wrist. Yeah. Um the sage's wrist is an item which I'm gonna look at right now, but it you can like add it to a chalice ritual to make the dungeon like a little uh what is it? 
add yeah, some challenge. It makes the wa- makes the watchers more treacherous than normal, but also make them pray for a special hunt, you know? And make the rewards sweeter. Exactly right. Nice. But yeah, but for, for the most part, what I've noticed here is that like to mold is another chalice dungeon to ritual mold. thing. Yeah, most of the items you get here, like I said, they're all like uh, things that make you do more chalice dungeoning. Why would you take uh, um, the mold with you? <laughs> Your character doesn't know mold is ancient ritual shit. Oh, who we got here? This is Thumerian descendant. I don't know why I told you that when it's very clearly readable. At the is uh, is he an old lord? Um, I guess he is, or maybe a descendant of them. Uh, I'm gonna warn you about something too, by the way. Okay. Um, so I actually was not recording when I, uh, for the final battle you'll see in this. Oh. But I was streaming because my daughter was up at like 4:30 in the fucking morning. So, um, the video qualities might be a little different than, you know, uh, the rest of this video. And, and the, the, the Marian be... Descendant will make some Goo Goo Gaga noises. Right. And the, yeah, the audio will actually be muted, if you want to know the truth, because <laughs> I was, I was just talking to people, like, about bullshit during it. No. Oh. It was like one of those things where I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, anyway, th- I'm sorry, we should talk about this boss. So, the Marian Descendant is... Probably the first, like, he's parryable, but not anywhere near as easily as Keeper in the not Old Not so Lords. choreography he is. Right. No. He does have this hmm, hmm sound after the fact, but, you know. Jesus. Ooh. He has reach, and then he has this annoying move, I don't know if you saw it before, where he, like, throws the sickle and it, like, kind of rotates on you, you know? Now, what's the proper term for that weapon? The sickle? Like a uh, a scythe, you're thinking? Shuttle, shuttle. Oh, I never heard that one. How are you spelling that? S H O T E L. It's a weapon in Dark Souls. Huh? You, yeah, you might have me there. It's like, yeah, I. You died having to think about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, call it. Yeah, so the Marian Descendant is... This is what the boss we're going to end the video on, obviously, you know. But, um... Sure. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about it. There he is. He's got his shuttle, you called it? Yeah. Well... He's got his upskirt. I don't know if you noticed that, but there it is. It's a curved sword. Varies from the Shamshir, adopting an almost <laughs> semi-circular shape. You know you've done a good editing job when your co-commentator takes the time to Google. <laughs> uh, maybe I'd... I had an encyclopedia that I opened and turned to the entry. Oh, what's Google? Maybe you're right. <laughs> Wait, did you really have an encyclopedia next to you? In my head. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna say because if you had the completed works of Britannica next to you for the. Bloodborne video. I mean, that's why they call me the Thumerian Scholar. (laughs) I like it. He has that little dance move. I don't know Mm. if you got to see. And I will be a boss in a later (laughs) challenge. You might as well be one. Mm. You know what's weird too? He's old, right? Yeah. Well, but he's a descendant, so imagine where the you know. Yeah. So the old lords must be like old. Lords. I mean, yeah, that's maybe that's like why they were just the lords, and it's like, look, you know, I know it's rude, but at this point we have to call it out. I mean, you are fucking old. But you know, the lords are young at heart. Um, the reason, by the way, I included this take is um another another fun thing about Thumerian descendants. Yeah. Is well, I told you that the bosses t- tend to change, it seemed like, around thirds, you know? Yeah. Some of them do change at the halfway point, though. And you're and right about there. I know, my god. And there it is. Well, that's not that impressive. Not really, no, but it is a lot harder. I now, found. when he breaks it off and there's four and he uses his feet. Yeah, no, that's pretty sick. That's pretty wild. If you think about it, too, it shouldn't really hit you harder, you know? 
Because, like, he would he was technically always hitting you with both then if they were just stuck together like that. Where'd he right? go? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hit mute, by the way. Okay. Um, oh, my God. So, yeah. The Thimerian descended has made the world... He's reduced the audio, uh, visual quality. I know. It's 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 awful. His that greatest way. move yet. He's decreased your bit rate. There we go. I really didn't expect to kill him, to be honest. <laughs> like, I was just sort of practicing, form. and then, and again, right? it was like 4.30 in the fucking How morning. Daddy punish the I, and I thought I was like, record, like, I would record some of the attempts, you know, but whatever. Oh, Sometimes this weird let's play yeah. world doesn't work out quite the way you think it yeah. might. Well, this is weird. I'm hearing you twice now. What That's why I said to me? hit mute. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. But no, I'm interested in what you have to say. <laughs> Anyway, so ah, whatever, close enough. Oh well, I hit mute. So then, what am I saying? Yeah. You're terrible. This is this trying to do a Retsu Pray video. I know. Yeah. Wait. Well, I don't even <laughs> know. Like, what if I should God. mute it in editing or what now? <laughs> um, no, I. <laughs> it's just tired bullshit. I'm actually like, I don't know. <laughs> this is what hap This is what happens when you have a fucking kid. Is you never sleep. You notice, by the way, yeah. too, if you keep the pressure on him. Like, he's at much less HP than when he did his stupid little final scythe move, you know? Yeah, pays to be aggressive. There we go, right? <laughs> Thank you. God damn it. All right. I didn't record that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Fuck. Um, <laughs> oh, no, actually, no, that's anyway. okay. Um, All right. I, all right. <laughs> yeah, that is okay. Yeah, again. okay. So we got the low. <laughs> Oh, I feel awful now. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> I am a shitty editor, though. Why didn't I clip the end here? Like, oh, he really needs to see him light the lamp. Oh, you did it.